So, how do you know Rebecca? Uh, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Are you cool with talking? I, I can ditch if you're over here just to get some peace and quiet for a bit. Yeah? You're sure? <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, so, how do you know Rebecca? Her and me go way back. So even though I just got back into town this week, it was like, <laughs> well, of course we have to get him out here, so... It just kind of turned into this little return party kind of thing, almost. Because, <laughs> um, I, I don't know if you heard earlier when everyone was asking me about it, that I was kind of doing some traveling around the country, you know? Yeah, just me and my truck, seeing what kind of adventures we get into. I was vlogging the whole thing as well. It's all about the passive income. But, uh, yeah, it's cool. Has that uh, ever been anything you're interested in, or...? Hey, want to see something really cool? Statue of Liberty, Niagara Falls, Florida Keys. Uh, that one's just a weird looking tree stump. Uh, Mothman Museum. I just like monsters like that, you know? Yeah, well, it's a lot harder when you're trying to vlog the whole thing, I'll tell you that much. There's so many different shots you have to get just of yourself walking the paths back and forth, you know? You have to run up ahead, prop up the phone somewhere and set it to record, run all the way back to the start, and then walk through the shot as if it's your first time seeing the place. Wow, amazing, enchanting. Put on some, you know, copyright free music to the whole thing, little soft EDM or whatever. It's kind of a lot of work. Thankfully, I've got a pretty face for thumbnails, so at least that's never been hard for me. I uh, didn't keep up with it so much towards the end of the trip because uh, sometimes people would... I just got kind of tired of the attention, you know, honestly. Walking around, monologuing to yourself in public and getting weird looks or sometimes yelled at. Just people thinking you're internet famous and wanting to butt in and everything, all of it. Not, not that I don't love meeting new people, of course, and I'm always super friendly. But sometimes I just want my peace and quiet to just collect my thoughts and sort of meditate almost, right? I think we're probably really similar in that way, actually. Still, cool stuff. The bustle of the cities out east, music festivals, wrestling gators down south, a couple cruises here and there from the Florida air... <laughs> Wait, stop. Okay, I get what you're saying, but yes, I did. It's, it's actually not all that weird down there, honestly. No, listen, I met this really cool family down south. My sister's boyfriend's cousin is a friend of the family, so we all met up and I decided, why not? You know, like, and I just gave in to the strange way of life they've got. Even if the bayous are definitely the freakiest place I could imagine, probably. Did you ever eat alligator? It really doesn't taste like chicken at all. I, I don't know what kind of person would come away with that impression, but like, nah, it's so chewy too. And it's, what? No, wrestling the family gator was purely recreational. I could never bring myself to harm a scale on Charles' head. Not after what we went through. Don't know if you'd do the same for me, but. <laughs> well, hey, here's a question. Are you into, uh, like, spooky stuff? Really? Huh. Check this out. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, it's a little intense. Technically, I think it would be called a... Uh, don't laugh. A fetish. But I do think whoever made this fetish really did want to stab the shit out of it and hurt somebody else with the magic. Looks like it's already taken plenty of abuse already, right? So I saved it. I'll never know the full history of how it got here or why it was created to suffer all of its abuse, but isn't it just so interesting to imagine? The world really is full of these little oddities all around us that most normal people just have no idea about, really. And. I mean, spooky shit like this is just cool, right? You think so? <laughs> uh, 
Hey, uh, you want to come back inside? I, uh, I actually brought a lot more cool stuff back with me from the trip that I want to show you if you're into this kind of stuff. <laughs> well, I can see how it might look like I'm trying to hook up with you, but I'm serious. Totally innocent intentions. I usually don't murder somebody and start wearing their skin until after a couple dates anyway, so you're safe. <laughs> really though, come on. Rebecca and everyone is just talking about fucking politics or something. I think most people are starting to head home anyway, so... Now, I know I said I wasn't trying to hook up with you, but just to clarify, I'm not at all opposed to the idea, hypothetically speaking. Too, too much? Fair, 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 sorry. I just didn't want to be rude. I didn't want to give you the wrong impression. You know, uh, believe it or not, I've never really tried to pick anyone up at a party like this before. I may not be as much of a progeny as I was hoping for, alas. Prodigy, fuck, yeah, that. Well, if you weren't charmed before, I know you must be swooning at the idiot mixing up his words. <laughs> You're very understanding. Very sweet, thank you. I get the impression that guys coming over and hitting on you is just sort of a day-to-day -day life occurrence for you, huh? Do I at least get a little credit for being brave enough to approach a stranger like this and strike up conversation? Well, I mean, it's always a risk, right? Because you don't want to bug or pester anyone. I uh, don't know if you remember, or I mean, maybe you didn't even mean to, or oh, I'm just imagining it, but you did nod at me earlier on in the night, right? By the kitchen island thing when Michael showed up with his al alcohol popsicles or whatever. So after that, I figured it was safe to at least come say hi. And hey, look at us now, two enjoyers of spooky weird shit. Maybe we could just sense that about each other, huh? I'm gonna be crashing here for a couple days while I try to sort everything out with my other apartment, so... Welcome to my humble abode. Look at you following some guy you just met home after the party. Ooh, scandalous. Now, okay, uh, hold on. Let me find it quick. There it is. All right. You may hold the fuzzy dice. And then I'm going to show you a picture I took on my phone. And I'll explain the story behind it for you. Here. <clears throat> so, it looks like just a normal car on the side of the road, I know. Uh, but it's like how you, like when you know the context of a normal photo and then suddenly it becomes really fucking creepy. I forget the word for that. There's like internet communities for it. Anyway, so yeah, so this was in Louisiana, outside of, I think, Shreveport? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now me and this girl, Megan, just a friend. Like, nothing happened between us. I mean, she definitely seemed interested, but uh, I just wanted to be friends, you know? Just wasn't interested like that. Anyway, uh, so we were outside seeing all night when there was this yellow sedan that just always seemed to be parked, no matter where we were, just right there on the block, almost like it was following us. Now I'll ask you this, do you believe in ghosts? Or, or wait, honestly, do you believe in aliens or demons? I'm leaning towards the encounter being an alien kind of thing personally. And man, I had some weird experiences out near Roswell, New Mexico, so like, what? Okay, well, well, no matter what, just to start with the easiest thing first then, okay? We can go through it all if you want, but you have to believe in ghosts, right? Like it's all real. There's no way that that's not. Like ghosts, aliens, and vampires are so just obviously real, it's not even funny. <laughs> okay, interesting answer. Very interesting. Then, uh, in that case, uh, I have something very, very interesting to show you. But you have to promise not to freak out, okay? You sure? 
<laughs> All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. Look at this. You see it? It's my fangs. I said it's my fangs. Because... Because... I'm a vampire. <laughs> no, really, I mean it. I, I really am. <laughs> you, you can just see it. Look. <sighs> well, yeah, I mean, that changed about me. I, I assume it's just one of those things where most of the uh, rules about it are just made up for the sake of drama and movies and stuff. I mean, I'm not going to bite you or anything. Unless, uh, you know, it's something you'd be interested in. Huh? I, no. I mean, like, I could drink some probably if you put it in front of me, but it's really not that big of a deal. Not nearly as much as all those stories make it out to be at all. You could cut yourself right now and I wouldn't even care. But, but okay, hold on. Okay. Check this out. Um, here, sit on the bed. <laughs> You're fine. I just want to show you something. Innocent. Please just do it. Okay, watch, watch. I'll even put one hand behind my back. Ready? Here we go. <sighs> See? <sighs> Might come as a little bit of a surprise, but uh, yeah, I wasn't quite able to lift that much before. <laughs> okay? Well, do you believe me now? I mean, what else am I supposed to do? I don't think there's anything else I could possibly do to prove to you that what I'm saying is true. I mean, vampires are supposed to, what, be able to turn into bats or something? I mean, it really just depends on the specific story anyway, so it never lines up with each other and it's all inconsistent. Well, hey, do you have any favorites? There's so many stories about, uh, Sexy vampires showing up in the dead of night and effortlessly sweeping everyone off their feet, right? We both can tell you've enjoyed some guilty pleasure vampire stories. Come on now. Should I try to hypnotize you? Is that it? Look deep into my eyes. Listen to my voice. <laughs> all, all right, all right, all right. It wouldn't even make sense, would it? Like, would a hypnotized person even know they're being hypnotized? I don't know. So what then? What would convince you? <laughs> uh, it's a cute idea, but uh, you don't think people would notice if I only started showing up at night suddenly? No, that's just another myth. No burning, no sparkling, no nothing. Not that the sun will show up for another few hours anyway, so I couldn't prove anything anyway. Uh, unless you'd like to hang out until then. Actually, wait, 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 hold on, no. I like this idea. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Look, uh, I think I can convince you, actually. Yeah. I don't know why of all things it works this way, but I have noticed one of those myths about vampires to be true. It's really fucking lame and weird, but here, check this out. Up, what's up, what's so, up? firstly, the sun, the as you can see, West. just Today saying, we're in but look, 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 Texas, and I, have found I mean, that's a fucking a weird, right? Of a pizza place. You know we've been hitting up all the pizza places Absolutely not. It's like so everything else in the shot is perfectly from, in frame, on, perfectly you know, functional, but it just happens to glitch out and erase me from the shot? Texas, it looks like the food is just now, floating. We're gonna get it started. Well, I mean, no, they're not, not all like that, of course. But okay, I had another clip in here where I swear it did the exact same thing. Um, hold on. No, no, not this one. Um, well, that one's normal too, but like, I don't know, it just, it's, it's happening more and more and more. I, I mean, like, what are the chances of it just happening to completely erase me at every part of the screen, every frame, but nothing else? Fine, fine. Hold on. Get your phone out then. 
I mean it. Come on. Get it out. Oh, wait, but hold on. Hold on. Uh, just look around the, the room first with it, okay? No glitches, right? Everything totally fine. Okay. Now, angle it over here. Is it doing it again? <laughs> I, I know. I fucking told you. Now you get it. There's just no way it's a fucking coincidence. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you this too. Hold on. All right. Small now, I know I'm still in this clip. This was Texas, right after it happens. But it. look, I, look. Heard it from somewhere. Look at I my teeth. Where, you see how small they are? You can directly compare. It's completely fucking course, different. Little pizza huh? Right here in this area. It's real. Nice and quiet, that doesn't just happen. Very teeth very don't just grow like that. I'm telling you, it's real. Oh yeah, it literally happened exactly like in all those trashy books that you definitely don't read. I met this uh, guy, charming dude. We hit it off and I thought it was just a joke or he was in the cosplay or whatever. And then I just kind of woke up like this afterwards. I mean, yeah, after he, yeah, bit me. Do, do the details matter? The point is that I am a vampire, but with none of the bad shit. Or like none of the crazy bad shit, like the sunlight thing. And even if some of the other stuff was real, nothing else is that big of a deal at all. Uh, I mean, you tell me. There's what? There's, there's garlic? Which, eh, I was never a big fan in the first place, to be honest. Even if that one's true, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> what, does it like kill vampires even? Or do they just hate it or what? Oh yeah, and Bibles too, right? Or is it just crosses? I already tried that one, by the way. Nothing. Oh, and there's also a mirror right there too. I checked that as well. Completely, absolutely normal. Look. Ooh, now who is that handsome man? Supernaturally handsome, you could say. Now, he looks like the kind of guy who could lift an entire bed effortlessly. It, it was effortless. It was just an awkward angle. Even vampires have to follow the rules of leverage, I guess. Count that as another thing we learned. Oh, fuck. There's just so much, though. Including, uh, you know. I mean, you know. If you're interested, I'd be happy to oblige if you wanted to test that too. If you wanted to join me, be one too, right? I know you must have thought about it already. And let me tell you, it is fucking exhilarating. You feel like you're just in the zone, though, but all the time. You hear everything. You just like sense the world around you so well. You can suddenly run miles without running out of breath. You can lift entire beds with cute partygoers on them with no effort. Hey, 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 hey. No worries. Like I said, I, I, I don't feel any kind of hunger for blood for the most part. I'm not just going to jump you and I'm not going to force you, okay, into any weird shit either if you're not into that. I know it's probably a bit hard to fully accept something so fucking wild like this is real so quickly. I do. I mean, it took me a while too. It's cool. Is there anything else I can do to convince you of this though? I, man, I really need to learn how to turn into a bat, huh? <laughs> so what else? What else? Oh, isn't there a thing about having to ask permission to enter someone's home? Yeah, that's an old one. Well, I mean, they're all old ones. God, I can't wait to see if I stop aging or whatever. Oh, hit the jackpot with this one. Fucking perfect timing to freeze aging it. Okay, so anyway, the home thing. Do you want to try it? So like, what if I just gave you this room? It is, it is yours now. I am officially bequeathing it to you. It is all yours. <laughs> Yeah, well, honestly, it's a confusing one because how do we even know if it really is a thing? Or if it's just because you have to actually own the home or if it has to be like something you have a deed for? I mean, how would a supernatural curse even know who the fuck 
owns a particular stone or wood box or whatever. It's stupid. Who even came up with that one? I kind of want to still try it though. <laughs> Is that weird? No, come on. Don't tell me I have to go so soon. Don't tell me that. After I've just bared my soul to you, you're just going to abandon me? How do I know you're not a vampire hunter in disguise and now you're scurrying off home to grab your holy water and steaks? Ooh, wait. I wonder if there's a way to test out the steak thing without actually stabbing and assumingly killing the vampire in question, of course. I don't know, like... Maybe they're just allergic to whatever kind of oak or something that old English churches were made of. So if you just scratch a vampire, they'll get like a super reaction from that. You know, there's probably a whole world of opportunity for someone willing to explore this kind of stuff online. But seriously, you can make a whole series of short little videos debunking or confirming each myth. Just that alone will get you a lot of mileage. You have to think of a really good channel name though. It's gotta start with good branding. Wait, okay, okay, okay. Just the home thing then? Here, how about I walk you out and just on the way out, I'll casually test the little myths and everything's good. Please. Well, I was hoping that you could help me film it, is the thing. Just to have a nice angle for the video, you know? Please, please. Yo, you're so sweet. All right, let's go. I won't keep you from getting home, I promise. It'll just take a second. Really though, if you ever change your mind about the whole thing, that's totally fine with me. I'll hook you up. Ah, it honestly didn't really hurt too bad. I mean, I could definitely feel the sting and feel that it was happening, but then there's such a nice feeling to it too. Maybe that's what the total masochists feel like just all the time. Mm. It's a little shocking at first, especially just the fact that you were really being straight up bitten by someone. But then it's almost nice to surrender control and just focus on the feelings instead. And then the second part, God. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably think more about how to put it into words for a vlog or something sometime. All right, um, here, I'll just try this one real quick. Take the phone, make sure to use the best camera on it. And how about, how about you stay in those bushes right there? That looks like a good angle. Good, good. All right, all right, hold on. Hi, I know it's a little late, but I was just wondering if I could step in for a... Well, that didn't work. I thought they would at least like ask for more information or something before just slamming the door on me. Unlucky. <sighs> I think I could try for another one. Not her again. I don't want to be a total menace. I feel like everybody gets like the one menacing encounter and then they're free. Hmm. The neighbor over there has their lights on. Maybe I could try to... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh shit, she's watching us through the window. Oh no no no, I hope she's not calling the cops. Fuck. Uh let's just let's just casually head back. Wave and smile, wave and smile, just two totally normal drunk folk. Fuck nothing crazy. We're leaving. Haley, we're leaving. Chill. <sighs> Jeez. Uh all right, well I told Rebecca I'd get back to the party like 30 minutes ago anyway. And I know you have to leave, so. Think about what I said, huh? Any time you want, yeah? All right. Well, hey, I hope I'll see you around more. I have a lot more to show you if you're interested. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I'll let you go. Sorry for keeping you up. Hey, take care, be safe.
and I have been calling. Yeah, I'm just uh, on a, another phone. It doesn't matter. Obviously, I'm calling to ask you to give mine back, you little thief. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's okay. I was the idiot that forgot to get it back from you. You didn't unlock it, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it would have been pretty rude to ignore the million messages I've been leaving if you did. And you didn't seem like the rude type to me. Listen, <clears throat> I really, really need it. Really bad. Can can you please come give it back? Uh, no. No, I'm sorry, but right now I just really need you to come give it to me. Please, as soon as you can. I know you must be busy, but... No, I'm just in the middle of something really important and I can't leave right now. I'm really sorry about that, but hey, I'll, I'll pay you for your time, okay? Please. I know it's inconvenient, but I really, really need it right now. Please, please help me out. I don't... <laughs> it's my own business. I'm just caught at a work meeting thing and I can't leave, that's all. Please, look, I'll pay you the price of the whole phone if you can just hop over right now. It'll be the most profitable ten minutes ever. I'm at, um, it's a little motel on Birch and Wesley. Room four, just out behind the street, it's, uh, the... <laughs> I'm in an online work meeting thing. Look, I promise you don't have to do anything other than just drop the phone off and that's it. And I mean, it is my phone. Come on. No, please, please, please don't hang up. Listen, listen. We can't do it later. It has to be now. Don't hang up. You're right. It's weird and it sounds fake. You're right. Okay. Listen. I promise I will tell you absolutely anything you want. Honestly, if you please just get me my phone. If I can hear you walk out and start driving right now, I'll honestly tell you absolutely everything you want to know. Okay? I'll give you however much money you want for the phone. I'll owe you any favor you want. Okay? Thank you, thank you. You weren't rude. Really... Oh, I'll never bother you again after this if you don't want to. Just please, please don't hang up. Stay on the line. If we get disconnected, the, the pin for the phone is 4321. I left a ton of messages telling you exactly where to go. Just remember Birch and Wesley, right? Birch and Wesley. Move four. Yeah. Okay. So, uh... <laughs> You really won't help me now unless I tell you. Sorry. All right, all right. Look, it's... It's, um... Yeah. You know, the... The vampire stuff. Some of it's getting more... Conventional. It's mostly... No, no, no. It's just... It's the... It's the fucking sunlight thing. I'm kind of trapped. Wish you answered my calls a little earlier. Jesus. I'm pretty busy, huh? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry. Again, it's my fault that I completely forgot about this stupid thing in the first place. <sighs> so stupid. Now I'm stuck here and I can't leave at all and I feel like I haven't slept since we met and it's just all crazy. I just need to make a call to the uh, person that you know, the other vampire that I met. The one that gave me these powers. I need to talk to them about this. I don't know their number, are you kidding me? We just met the one night, I, I barely remember anything that happened, let alone their fucking phone number. I just need to show them some stuff. They told me that every person experiences the turning process differently. Even beyond that, there's just tons of different kinds of vampires, I think. Like, different kinds of, like, any species. I think. Maybe that wasn't about vampires. I don't know. I wasn't listening very much at the time. <laughs> Look, I just met this weirdo. And I'm instantly getting my ear chatted off about this stuff out of nowhere. I was listening. I just didn't believe a word of what he was saying. I mean, who would? I honestly just thought it was the lore of a video game or some shit. And honestly, it doesn't matter, does it? Just please, please tell me you're close. It's not that busy this time of day, is it? <sighs> it's just freaky. Forgive
given me is suddenly the fact that I can't go outside without dying is kind of freaking me the fuck out. No, 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 it really wasn't this way for the first few days. It, it really wasn't. I was fine. I was totally fucking normal. I could just do things a little better. And I, I already went through this fucking panic when I first got bitten. I thought I was going to be okay. I was told I would be. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to spill all this on you, but also you kind of asked. I don't know how any of this shit works, and I just want to call them back and get some goddamn answers. Okay? Please tell me you are close by now. Okay, 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 sorry. Thanks, thanks again for getting me my phone back. I'm in, um, I'm in room four, like I said. It's the side of the building facing away from the street. Are you pulling up now? I see you. I'll unlock the door for you. You're good. Come on. I, I can't go near the sunlight. That's all there is out there. Just be near the goddamn window to unlock the door was risky. Come on. Just give me the phone. You're already here. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. It's so good to see you. Oh, thanks for coming. Yeah. I just feel so exhausted, honestly. Barely have the energy to hold their ugly phone up to my ear the whole time. My phone, please. Hand it over. Come on, come on. I need it. Just give it to me. Right here. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Hey, please, please. Get over here, please! I barely bit you. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. I won't do anything. I'm sorry. I can handle this. I didn't mean it. I really, really didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Please. Please. Hello. Hey. Please come back. Give me my phone. I need it. 